meeting to be officiated by the Honorable Prime Minister of Malaysia, Dr. Sukhidin. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We should condemn Israel's latest use of disproportionate force in Gaza and in the West Bank. We should not tolerate Israel's excessive military reprisals against Lebanon, the collective punishment inflicted upon the Lebanese people, and the destruction of towns and cities are unconscionable. The military incursions into Lebanese territory are blatant disregard for Lebanon's sovereignty. The United Nations Security Council should take action to call for a ceasefire, deploy United Nations peacekeeping force to implement the ceasefire and prevent an invasion of Lebanon. And keep it central to the life of the people in Southeast Asia. For a the latest developments in the Middle East are gravely threatening international peace and security. I feel that we in ASEAN must make our voices heard loudly and clearly that we cannot continue tolerating the subjugation and repression of the Palestinian people by Israel. My ASEAN colleagues and I have a very heavy task ahead of us over the next few days. We look in our region, the situation in Myanmar is impacting upon the image and credibility of ASEAN. We would very much like to have Myanmar move forward with the rest of ASEAN. Therefore, we also hope that the government of Myanmar will take the necessary steps to enable Myanmar to so move forward with the rest of ASEAN. Record this very special and historical event in Kuala Lumpur. The spirit of ASEAN. <laughs> Cambodia, we say Okun. Indonesia, three. The only thing is I want to break just after lunch for a while, just to break.